Okay, the world you live in is very sick. We are not civilized yet. As long as there's war machines, war movies, cannons in front of high schools, bombers, military aircraft in front of universities, this is not civilized. And all everybody admires George Washington. What they don't know about him is that he had 300 slaves. How many of you knew that? Having 300 slaves, he'd be arrested and abused. And King Solomon had a thousand wives. He'd be arrested today as a bigamist. Truman, this is how stupid President Truman was. Oppenheimer went to visit him and said, now that we have the atom bomb, would you mind dropping it offshore about 30 miles to show the Japanese we have a terrible weapon, I'd rather not drop it on the cities? He said, get those guys out of my office. He wouldn't even permit him to speak. Most of the people you admire today are ignoramuses, all of them. Here's a guy running with a football, same thing over and over again. Thousands of people go to watch sports. Well, what's the matter with sports? Nothing to matter with if you're brought up in that kind of society. In ancient Rome, the people used to come to see Christians being fed the lions, but they'd starve the lions for a week to put on a better show. Then they'd take the clothes off the Christians so they have a much better show. And the kids would say, Daddy, can we come next week to see Christians being fed the lions? He said, if you behave yourself, sonny. So, is this father nuts? No. Is anything wrong with the kid? No. That's normal to that culture. Like we have prize fights. Men punch each other in the head, knocking the brains around. They all become mentally ill later on. But that's normal to this culture. The things you're brought up to like, movie stars, soap operas on TV, all crap. None of them teach you anything. When you have statues of all the people that invented things that make life better for you, you'd have statues of people that did things that were useful, not war heroes. I worked for Ernst Judet once. He was considered the ace of aces of World War I, a little bit in the World War II. So I asked him, I said, you dad, how did you shoot down 70 airplanes? I couldn't imagine how he did that. He said in a heavy German accent, it was very easy. I said, yes, but what, how did you do it? I'd fly above the squadrons and I'd look for a rookie. A rookie means a guy that didn't know how to fly, too, and I'd pick him off. There's no other way to build, knock down 70 planes, you know what I mean? If you took on equals, maybe it gets two or three or seven, but not 70. So these people were sons of bitches. We all admire these war heroes. If you were raised in Australia, you say, how are you, mate? And if you were raised in the deep south in America, by uneducated people, you might say, I'm going to give you a nigger and I'm going to kick his ass in. Is that you speaking or the environment affecting you? You talk of individuality like there is such a thing. There isn't. 
If you were an individual, you couldn't talk to anybody. They wouldn't know what the hell you're talking about. You're very much like other people. Your question is not new. I've never heard a new question in years because we're so much alike. Everybody's looking for justice. There's no such thing. All judges would be arrested in the future because they're judging people, knowing nothing about what made them that way. In the future, we'll understand what makes a person the way they are, and we'll get rid of all the conditions that produce aberrant behavior. So if you like what I say and you leave here and do nothing, nothing will happen. If you talk to other people about the Venus Project, the chances are we'll have a smoother transition. It's not perfect, but just a lot better than what exists. Of course, it can always get better.